Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Monday morning. Yeah, I'm sitting up in here like a, a, a idiot with a subway shirt on. How about I call my boss man, y'all? Yesterday. And still sick. Don't you know he won't even let me off? So I can get better. And it's raining out here. And they calling for some snow flares in Charlotte. So, you know, I said, you know what, Jesus, this don't make no sense. Now, I done sent him a video of me, Kate Holly, here. You know, my head feels so, it's kind of large, and you hear that. And uh, I'm drinking up some coffee and stuff. And then he gonna tell me, I text him, told him I can't make it. I can't make it. I'm sick. This yesterday now. And then when I woke up last night at 11 something, I told him I ain't no way. I ain't gonna be able to make it. He gonna tell me to come in and open the store at 8 o'clock and get off at 11. Now I gotta pay somebody to take me to work because I don't want to catch the bus because it's misting out there. And this is, I believe, how I got sick in the first place, being out in that bad weather. I know we gotta do what we gotta do, y'all, but come, come on, man. Where's the sympathy? No kind of sympathy whatsoever. He just don't want to get his sorry self up out the uh, bed and go open the store and give me a day, another day to get well. I mean, I'm sorry to just get on here and be being about stuff, but I mean, come on. Y'all can even see and hear that I am sick. But it's okay, because God gonna make it happen. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Trust me, I'm gonna go ahead and go. But I gotta tell y'all something. I found my juice. You remember yesterday I told y'all about this juice? This, uh, it's an African, uh, authentic, uh, beverage. And it's, uh, it's called I ain't gonna pronounce it right. I know I ain't. La Limogen? Limogen. See, look. We got a lot of hot spices in it. This right here, it did make me feel better and it broke up a lot of it. I had got four of them. And I gave my uh, roommate one. Because, you know, I ain't want her to get sick in behind me, you know, and stuff. Because we, you know, go in the same kitchen. You know, I've been trying to keep it clean and stuff and everything. But this is some good stuff, y'all. It's hot. You keep it cold and it's hot and spicy. And it got a lot of ginger in it, lime in it, all kind of stuff. It's real zesty. And when I tell you it bring up some stuff, I found it. I went, I got away over there to my to the little African store I go to over there on Shoot Creek and I, I got some. But y'all just pray for us. So I'm just going to do three hours. I got to pay somebody to come pick me up. To keep me out of my right and pay them to go back, and I'm going to work three hours. And I'm too ashamed to tell you what I make an hour. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm talking about him. You know, I, I make it happen. I make it happen. God makes it happen. I'm going to be okay. But that's just sad that you can't even stay home and get well. That don't make no sense. So, what are you going to do tomorrow? Now, what if I get sicker? It just don't make no sense. Jesus help me. Okay, we're going to go to the daily bread. And it's coming out of Proverbs 18 and 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Godly marriages are a blessing because Christ is at the center of them. Oh, God, my head. As a Christian, you should make sure that the spouse you find is a God-loving and Bible-believing Christian. Someone you can pray with and talk about God with. When you encounter challenges, they will be easier for you to overcome because you will both turn to God and not the influences of the world. Dear God, I commit my marital life into your hands. Father, when it comes to finding a spouse, I pray that I find someone who loves you as much as I love you. May you always be involved in every decision we make and every step we take. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I could have most definitely used the husband these last few days. And sickness and in health, ain't that what it say? Maybe this is a sign from the Lord right here. I'm about to get me a husband, but... I don't have a clue who he going to be, but I could show sure use one of those. I've never had one of those, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, I got to be comical. Where's my TV blank? Who knows? But, yes, my friend that came yesterday and took me to the African store to get this here, he been a long-time friend. 
and I appreciate him. So I called him at six something in the morning, sounding terrible. He was like, "Oh my God, what's wrong?" And he said, "Don't worry about it." He said, I'm, "I'll come get you." He said, "Get ready now. I'll come get you." Sure enough, he came and took me. We hunt that stuff down, and it's doing pretty good, y'all. I I feel a lot better. But I got the Lord my voice. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I'm talking, I feel like I'm talking so loud. And my head is like a drum. Boom, boom. I, I mean, it's like I'm in the mountains and fingers in my ears. From here up. It was right here. And it was right here in my back. Oh my God. Ooh. Y'all, I've been I've been through I've been through the storm these last few days, but I made it though. I'm going to be all right. I feel myself. Going, I'm getting better. You know, all this stuff I've been piling to me. I've been third flu down. How about two boxes of third flu? I done went through two boxes. Come here. Y'all think I'm joking. I done been through two boxes of third flu and on a third one. And I'm not opening that third one, Jesus. I think I done did it too much. Look at here. This here. I done used this much honey in almost two days. Look. Drinking hot tea. Look, two boxes of this is gone. We got a new box of tea. Antoinette, we got, got some more stuff. Look at that. I'm doing everything in my power. And it ain't working. And wait a minute. I got to show y'all something else. Do not get. <sighs> this stuff don't work. Now I don't spend, I don't spend, I don't know how much money on medication. And it ain't working. Well, maybe it's taking its days and times. Because... It's breaking up like now. I got to blow my nose. Now, look at this. Mucus relief. Supposed to take two of these every four hours. Do one of these every four hours. I'm, I, I'm so medicated up. I, I'm, I'm tired. So that's why I went on and glad my friend came and took me to get some juice. You know, this African juice. You know, they, they got medicine and things that work. So, y'all, you see how I am out of breath. It, this don't make no sense. And I, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to go over here and do these little three hours. Soon as 11 o'clock strikes, somebody better be there. Because I'm going to lock the door and roll out. Because that don't make no sense. Nobody have to go to work sick like this here. It really don't. It really, really, really don't. So let me go ahead and finish getting ready. I ain't got to be there till 8. 8 o'clock. And my ride coming about 7.45. Let me finish drinking up on some stuff. Y'all just pray for us, sister. I hate to be always coming to y'all with some old bad stuff, but it's it's a shame. I can't even stay home and get well. Now, I, I really can't afford it, but I can't afford to be going to work for no three hours neither. Ain't got to pay somebody to come take me and come pick me up. It's going to be like I ain't I got up for nothing. Just to the comfort him because he too sorry to get up and go open that store and let me get well. When he was sick, he stayed out. That don't make no sense. And I don't care if you do see this video. Who cares? Because that's a crash shame. You can't even let nobody stay home and get well. Who Jesus help me right now. Forgive me for my sins, Lord. Yes, I was cussing about it earlier. Yes, I did curse, Lord. Y'all forgive me. I am human. But I feel horrible. And that's not fair for you to have to go to work and sick like this here. Y'all have a blessed day. And I hope this never happened to y'all. Uh, love, peace, and hell, grease. And like I said, I ain't blowing no kisses because y'all don't want none of this. Bye now. Talk to you later.